Hey folks, this is Justin from Metcalf Mills. I've got something here that I wanted to share with you. I just received it this week. I saw the ads, I'm a little skeptical, but this looked, based on my experience, like it would work really well, and it does. Uh, when I received this, and if you've not saw it, it's the duck plow, D-U-C. It's fashioned after an old style turning plow, but it's a lot smaller so that you can use it by hand and it works really well. My experience was I received the plow one day, the handle the next day. When I went to put the two together, you can see a line right around here. That's, in my guess, is that's how far the handle is supposed to go down in to this collar on the plow, but it would not go. I tried driving it in, it would not go. It's probably progressive error, mismatch somehow. But what I did, I drove the handle in as far as I could, and I put this on my drill press, drilled a new hole through the hole in the sleeve through the handle. And also the bolt that came with it was too small in my opinion, so I put a, a bigger bolt in. On this end, this bolt, the plastic sleeves, were inside the handle when I received it. So I just pulled those out, this bolt goes through, you got two nuts that hold it in place, then you got the plastic sleeves that go over this. This is okay, but I'm thinking in time, I'm probably gonna fashion a new handle out of wood. I work with wood a lot, tools with wooden handles. It's my favorite, it works good, it gets nice and smooth. It just really works well. So you'll see that in an upcoming video when I have time to do it. Before I got this, what I used was just a common garden hoe. And I would use that, you know, to take care of weeds, pull dirt up around my plants. And that takes quite a bit of time to do if you've got a sizable garden. This tool is such a time saver. It's gonna cut your time cleaning up your garden, taking care of weeds, it's gonna cut it down drastically. And everybody knows time's a very valuable commodity. All right, folks, I'm gonna give you a demonstration of how this duck plow works. What I've learned is when you're driving it, up and down determines the depth that you are cultivating. You move the handle up and down, you can either go deeper or more shallow. And by twisting the handle, you can actually drive this thing as to how close you want to get to your plants while you're cultivating. So you just get it hooked in about where you want it on your plants and you just start pulling. It takes a little bit of practice to get as close as you want to be to your plants. But if you've got small weeds coming in, you can see it just covers them right up. Then you just head down the, back down the other side of your row. As you saw folks, what would have taken maybe 10 minutes with a garden hoe, I've done in what, a minute, two minutes? That, that's how much time you're gonna save with this tool. It's amazing. I think this would be good for laying off straight rows to plant. Uh, of course, different types of soils, depends on how rocky. You know, all I can speak for is what I've got to work with. Your soil may be different, but I think overall, this is a tool that if you grow a garden, it's gonna be a necessity for you. It's just a great tool. I'm sure there'll be other uses for it that come around as time goes on. I ordered my duck plow just from a pop-up ad based on my searches online. You can just Google duck plow, D-U-C, plow. I think it's available on Amazon, but you'll definitely come up with some results. Sometimes when your garden gets bigger, that's when I see a lot of times it tends to get more weedy. And the good thing about this product, no matter the size of your crop, you can still get in there where you can work and keep those weeds down because every weed that does not go to seed this year is a thousand less weeds you have to deal with next year. 
So I'm gonna show you how you can work with this chest high corn and get in there and keep your weeds down with the duck plow. Folks, you saw how the duck plow did on the smaller sorghum cane and the chest high corn. I'm gonna show you how it works on my pinto beans as well as my pepper and my cucumber rows. Gets right in there, covers up the weeds, cultivates right up close to the plant really nicely. Folks, the ground is a little bit hard right here because it's it's been wet. And I just lowered my handle and it digs in a little bit deeper and that hard ground is not a problem. That plow point is sharp on this tool and it will dig down. Now we're going down the other side of our bean row. Sometimes you'll get a clod that'll kick up while you plant down. The amount of time you save is just, it's unbelievable. There you go, folks, a hundred foot of pinto beans cultivated in just a couple minutes. And which would, with a regular garden hoe would have taken probably 30 minutes to do it the right way. Folks, now we're gonna run down with the cayenne pepper here and get those healed up and weeded really fast and really nice. Folks, we showed you how this duck plow works on the sorghum cane, the tall corn, the beans, the pepper. Now we're over here to the cucumbers, and I've got them on kind of a wider, a wide row, and it don't really work good with my tractor cultivation. So this duck plow allows you that no matter how wide your row is, you can clean up those edges really easily. You know, folks, a lot of times when you're using a tool, you'll discover new uses for that tool. Nobody knows it all, so a tool is not limited only to your imagination. I was thinking about something when I was cultivating the cucumber row. It's wider. I thought, well, what if those cukes wasn't there? How, you know, could you possibly make a raised bed with a duck, duck plow? So I'm gonna show you what I came up with. This ground has been worked probably a week and a half ago. The weeds are starting to come in. I wanna show you the raised bed that you can create. Now, folks, from rough ground to a weed-free raised bed was that easy. I mean, it's just so easy. You can go as fast or as slow as you like with this tool. It seems to work about the same, any speed, so. All right, folks, you saw what the duck plow can do. My opinion of it, it's a great tool. You saw me make the raised beds. I just want to uh, make it clear that if you're starting out from unworked ground, this ground has been worked with a tractor here. So if you're starting out in, in just in your yard or whatever, you have grass, 
you need to work that ground up before you put the duck plow in it. And I'm gonna have some videos showing you how to hand work a garden. If you don't have a tractor, you don't even have a tiller, it's still possible for you to hand work some ground and grow some food. The thing about time saving tools, especially this one, when you save time, that gives you more time to watch Metcalf's Mills videos. And that's a great thing because I've got some great, awesome videos coming up. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you get a reminder when these videos come out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.